This is South Sudan, a country with a rich history and culture, but it is also a country that is still recovering from a long and bloody civil war. In recent years, however, there has been a renewed sense of hope in South Sudan, as the country has embarked on a number of ambitious, mega-projects that are designed to help it rebuild and prosper. In this video, we will take a look at some of the top ongoing mega-projects in South Sudan. We will discuss the purpose of each project, the cost, and the timeline for completion. We will also talk about the potential impact of these projects on the future of South Sudan, starting with Number 13. Rumbek Ye Highway the Rumbek Ye Highway is a massive road project that will link the cities of Rumbek and Ye. The route is anticipated to promote regional transportation and trade. The project should be done soon. The Rumbek Ye Highway is a crucial route that would connect Juba, South Sudan's capital city, with the western area. The roadway will serve as a critical link between the two areas, improving the flow of products and people. The construction of the Rumbek Ye Highway is expected to create jobs and boost the economy of the region. The highway will also help to improve security in the area, as it will make it easier for security forces to patrol the region. Number 12. Juba Tarakika Highway. The Juba Tarakika Highway is a 75-kilometer highway that will connect the capital city of Juba with the town of Tarakika. The highway will improve transportation and trade in the region, and it is expected to boost economic growth. The project is being funded by the South Sudan government. Number 11. Juba International Airport Expansion The development of Juba International Airport is one of South Sudan's greatest infrastructural projects. A new terminal, a runway, and a taxiway are all part of the project. The expansion should be finished soon. The new terminal will have a capacity of up to 2 million passengers per year, an increase over the present capacity of 500,000 people per year. Larger aircraft, such as the Boeing 747, will be able to land on the expanded runway. The taxiway will provide airplanes more room to maneuver around the airport. The expansion of Juba International Airport is expected to boost the economy of South Sudan. The airport is a major gateway for tourism and trade, and the expansion will make it easier for people and goods to move in and out of the country. Number 10. Juma Kapoda Highway the Juma Kapoda Highway is a 400-kilometer road that will connect Juba, the capital city, with the hamlet of Kapoda. The roadway will increase regional transportation and trade, and it is projected to stimulate economic growth. The World Bank and the African Development Bank are funding the project. Number 9. Malakal Oil Refinery The Malakal Oil Refinery is a refinery construction project in Malakal. The refinery will process local crude oil to create gasoline, diesel, and other petroleum products. The project is scheduled to be finished in 2026. The Malakal Oil Refinery is a large project that would assist South Sudan lessen its reliance on imported petroleum products. The refinery will also create jobs and enhance the region's economy. The Malakal Oil Refinery is a complicated project that will necessitate the building of a new pipeline to transfer crude oil from the oil fields to the refinery. The project, however, is critical to the development of South Sudan's oil sector. Number 8. Rumbek Warup Highway The Rumbek Warup Highway is a 100-kilometer highway that will connect the cities of Rumbek and Warup. The highway will improve transportation and trade in the region, and it is expected to boost economic growth. The project is being funded by the South Sudan government. Number 7. Rumbek Tanj Highway the Rumbek Tanj Highway is a 200 kilometer highway that will connect the cities of Rumbek and Tanj. The roadway will increase regional transportation and trade, and it is projected to stimulate economic growth. The African Development Bank is funding the project. Number 6. Juba Ninul Railway. The Juba Ninul Railway is a project that aims to build a railway line between Juba and Ninul. The railway will connect the capital city to the Ugandan border. The project is scheduled to be finished in 2027. The Juba Ninul Railway is a major project that will assist South Sudan and Uganda boost transportation and trade. The railway will also benefit both nations' economy. The Juba Ninul Railway is a difficult project since it would necessitate the construction of a new bridge across the Nile River. However, the initiative is critical to the economic prosperity of South Sudan. Number 5. Yamoredi Highway. The Yamoridi Highway is a 150-kilometer highway that will connect the cities of Ye and Maridi. The highway will improve transportation and trade in the region, and it is expected to boost economic growth. 
The project is being funded by the European Union. Number 4. Juba Pibor Highway. The Juba Pibor Highway is a 300 kilometer long road that would connect the capital city of Juba with the town of Pibor in South Sudan's northeastern region. The roadway will increase transportation and trade in the area, which is currently underserved by roads. The Juba Pibor Highway is a difficult project to accomplish since it would travel through some of South Sudan's most remote and inaccessible places. The terrain is rough and the weather is severe. The initiative, however, is considered as a vital step in linking the inhabitants of Piber to the rest of the country. Number 3. Bor Mabin Bridge. The Bor Mabin Bridge is a Nile River bridge construction project. Bor and Aban will be linked by the bridge. The Bor Mabin Bridge is a significant project that will aid in the improvement of transportation and trade between the two cities. The bridge will also benefit both communities' economy. The Bor Mabin Bridge is a difficult project since it will necessitate the building of a new bridge across the Nile River. However, the initiative is critical to the region's prosperity. Number 2. Jubanzara Highway. The Jubanzara Highway is a 200-kilometer long road that would connect the capital city of Juba with the town of Nuzara in South Sudan's southwestern region. The roadway will increase transportation and trade in the area, which is currently underserved by roads. The project is scheduled to be finished in 2035. The Jumbanzara Highway will be a reasonably simple project to complete since it will run through relatively level terrain and the climate will be milder than in other regions of South Sudan. The project is still vital, though, because it will help connect the people of Nzara to the rest of the country. Number 1. Jubatorit Highway The Jubatorit Highway is a 250-kilometer long highway that will connect the capital city of Juba with the town of Torit in the southeastern part of South Sudan. The highway is expected to improve transportation and trade in the region, which is currently underserved by roads. The project is expected to be completed in 2036. The Jubantorit Highway is a relatively easy project to undertake, as it will pass through relatively flat terrain and the climate is not as harsh as in other parts of South Sudan. However, the project is still important, as it will help to connect the people of Torit to the rest of the country. The ongoing mega-projects that are underway in the country have the potential to transform South Sudan into a prosperous and thriving nation. I encourage you to stay tuned for updates on these projects and to learn more about how you can help support the development of South Sudan. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching.